Hey, it's Zay here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to compress your um, image sizes so that when you are putting uh, photos or images onto your website, then instead of the, the file of the image being so big that it slows down the page. So have you ever like been on a, like gone to a website and it's just running really slowly, you just click a button and it just takes ages and ages and ages to load. Well, that's, that happens because, one of the reasons why that happens is because the file sizes is too large. So um, it's taking up too much data to, to download that page so you can see it. So a way for us to do that is to compress the, um, the image sizes so that they're a lot smaller, so that your page runs faster, so that when people go to your page, your website, um, it, whenever they click on a button, um, it will load really quickly. The slower it loads, the more frustrated people get and they can easily just like leave your page because they're just like, oh, this is taking too long, I'm gonna go. So it's really important that we compress the files, our images before we upload them. So there are a few ways of doing it. Um, one way you can do it is by downloading a um, plugin and on your WordPress. So you can do that for free. One of them's called um, WP Smoosh or Smoosh, Smoosh It or something like that. Um, but we've done a test um, and I've done a lot of research on this and they say that it is much better and much more efficient and effective if you um, compress your images before you upload them. So I'm gonna give you a really easy way on how you can do that. And one important thing to think about is also how you organize your images because um, when your website gets really, gets much bigger, then you're gonna have a lot more images and you're gonna want it to um, be, be faster, okay? <laughs> um, and be organized really well. So let's, I'm just gonna share my screen and we're gonna jump straight into it. Okay, so sharing. So here we go, I'm in my WordPress, um, this is my back, the back end, and say I want to put I want to put a different picture here. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to find a better picture that I want or another picture. So I go to Unsplash. Unsplash is just a um, an image database which gives me royalty free images. And here under my um, under my folder in my bookmarks tab, I have um, Unsplash here. So I'll click on it and it opens up a new tab. If you wanna find this site, you can just go www.unsplash.com and you'll come up with this page. So I want an image of, um, so someone, person using a laptop. So I'll just go person laptop. Hmm, all right. So, and I want a landscape, so maybe this one will look good, or maybe this one. All right, let's just, I'm gonna download this one. So what I'll do is I'll just click the download button here. So this is gonna be quite a large file size. If I click on it, it's gonna give me this, this image. So that's what I just downloaded. Um, if I wanna look at, at the file size, then I can, um, there is a way for me to do that. Um, So what I do is I'll hold on, downloads, because I just downloaded it. So here is the image. Um, it's it's um, 744 kilobytes. So that's a pretty big, pretty big for a file size. Whatever it is, it's gonna, it's gotta come to a large file size. So what we do is, let me go back to my um, browser. I'm gonna open up this uh, website called Tiny PNG. So I've got it here, it's, it's a tiny PNG. And if you wanna find it, it's just, just go tinypng.com and you'll find this page. And this is a really simple page. You basically like drag and drop your image and then it'll download it for you. So if you want, you can drag it. So I just click it and I'll drag it across like this and just dump it there and it will compress it for me. So here it is, 744.1 kilobytes. And what, what TinyPNG does, it only compresses it so that um, it, it doesn't make the image look really bad quality, 
Okay, so it keeps the quality, so it still looks really nice. And as you can see, it's dropped down to 206.7 kilobytes. So it's like, it's dropped it by 72%, which is awesome. So what we're gonna do is we just hit the download button here and it will put it in the downloads folder. So if I click on it again, there it is. So this is, this one, that one's the old one. This one's the new one. See, the image looks exactly the same. One is 744 kilobytes. The other one is 207 kilobytes. So this is the one we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, rename it. I'll just say person-laptop. And I will um, open up my business lift off folder and I'll drop it into, I'll copy it there. So copy and I'll paste item. And I'll put it in my website images folder. So that's where I'll keep all my images for my website. So now I can go to back to here and I want to change the background. So I'll click on background. There's the old image. I'll click on that button and then I'll go to upload files, select files, navigate to online business liftoff, website images, person laptop, and see it's the one 207 kilobytes. Open. I can put little alt alternate text here. So person, like person using a laptop. Title, person laptop, da da da, description, caption. It's all good. Um, center, link to none. I want it to be, because this is the background, I want it to be quite large. So we'll do a large. Okay. Upload an image. There we go. So as you can see, that's updated my background. I personally think the other one looks better, but that doesn't matter. It's just a, just, uh, an example and I'll probably switch it back to something else. Okay, so I trust that this has been really useful for you. So every single time, you know, make sure that you have a system when it comes to uploading images to your website, go to, uns go to Unsplash or there are a bunch of other ones that you can go to, um, download a royalty-free uh, photo, and then it'll get saved onto your computer. And then you can go to Tiny PNG. You can drag it or you can click here and find where it is. And then um, it'll automatically compress. You download it, then it'll give you a downloaded version of the compressed file, and then you can upload that. Okay, so it's a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a process to do this, but it is, um, it is, what you want, you know, like you definitely want to do this from the very beginning because trust me, I've built um, websites and I just want to throw it all in there and I've built it and then I haven't organized any of my website images. I haven't compressed them. My pages are taking a really long time to load. And when I try to, um, when I go back to compress them again, I can't find the original files Then I have to, you know, it's just like a big, big mess. So it's really important that we do this from the very beginning so that it saves us a lot of time and effort and frustration down the line. Okay, I um, hope you've enjoyed this video and okay, bye.